I'm going to be able to increase me. Thank you. <laughs> so, three, two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're, I'm going to be taste testing these. But I have to guess which one it is because I'm going to be blindfolded. Today, we are going to be taste testing all these Girl Scout cookies. I want to see, for one, which ones Kensington actually likes, and two, if she can guess what they are. And I'm going to get to see what this girl likes and what she doesn't like. There's one cookie here I'm actually allergic to, so I won't be trying the Caramel Delights because I can't have coconut. Um, and I, I I'm not going to be trying them either because I might be allergic to them. Yeah, so we might leave those out this time. Yeah, we're going to put those to the side over there. But since we don't know if Kensington's allergic or not, we're not going to try them in this video. <laughs> yeah. It is a favorite of her dad and her brothers, though, so we'll We're not trying it just for you. <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to keep our family safe. Yeah, if you have any allergies, don't try so, the So, Mom. Yes. You promise to not give me this. No, I won't give you that. And if you do. I don't want to take any chances. And if you try to, we're over there. Really quick, I'm going to go through and read the description on each cookie so you can find out what cookies um, that the Girl Scouts in your area have. And if you have the chance to go out and support them, please go buy from your local Girl Scouts because it really means a lot and helps them to go on trips and do fun things and earn their value. So if you like know our Girl Scout troops that... It's a kind of flower. Go buy it because maybe I'm that one. Because wait, my Girl Scout troop is called a flower. Daisy. Daisy. It's called Daisy. Today I'm going to go over each cookie really quick, let you know um, what the description of them is so you kind of get to know what each Girl Scout ah. cookie is. And she's going to taste test them. All right, Adventure Fools. They're indulgent, brownie-inspired cookies with caramel-flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. So you might get those. Then next we have peanut butter sandwiches. I know what those look like. These are crisp and crunchy oatmeal cookies with creamy peanut butter filling. That sounds yummy. Thin Mints, always a crowd pleaser. These are one of my favorites. These are crispy chocolate wafers dipped in a mint fudge coating. Sounds good. That does sound good. All right, lemonades. These are... I hope they taste like lemonade. <laughs> these are savory slices of shortbread with a refreshingly tangy lemon-flavored icing. Oh, oh, I, I want to say something. Go for it. I only know what this one tastes like. She tried them. Only that one. <laughs> the other ones that are open, from my brother's. Next cookie, this is the Toasty Yays. French toast inspired cookies dipped in delicious icing, full of flavor in every bite. Yay. It, it sounds delicious. It does sound delicious. All right, last two. We have shortbread. These are Kenzie's favorite. Them. Traditional shortbread cookies, that's all it says. Mom, you can't say they're my favorite. I haven't tried any other. That's true because maybe we'll like something else. So far, I've only ever had thin mints and shortbread, so I am ready to try some new Girl Scout cookies. How about you? All right, last one, peanut butter patties. These are crispy cookies layered with peanut butter and covered with a fudge coating. Let me see these. Just so you know what caramel delights are, purple box. These are crispy cookies topped with caramel, toasted coconut, and fudge stripes. So if you love coconut, these are for you. We can't have it, so we're putting it off to the side. Other than my brothers my, and my dad yep. and their friends. So, Kensington. Are you ready to try some yes. cookies? All right. Wait, Mom, mix them up. So. I'm going to open up all of these really quick. So everyone knows what we have right now. I'm going to put one of each on the tray, and okay. then she's going to try and guess it. We'll um, be right what? back. Look how big some of the size differences is with these. I didn't realize that, but I've also only ever tried two different Girl Scout cookies. So this is going to be so fun for both of us. Kensington is going to try. She's going to rate these 1 through 10. And my mom's going to try them with me. I am because I want to know which ones I like. I've never tried them before, so I always buy the same things, and I'm ready for some change. I'm excited to try eat the shortbread. All right. <laughs> Off camera, I asked my mom if she placed on a shortbread, and she said yes. Yep. All right, so listen. 1 is disgusting. <gasps> 10 is amazing. You need to rate your cookies 1 through 10 when you uh, try them. Uh, are you ready? Yes! Uh, All right, friends. This is what we are starting off with. Oh, Mom, don't put the full cookie in my mouth. I won't. Are you ready? Yeah. Take a bite. Bite. Oh! It tastes a little bit like salmon. 
This is the first one. What do you think? Does it taste good? Yeah. So first you're going to rate it, mm. and then I'm going to show you what it is. Out of 10, mm -hmm. I rated an 8.5. Wow, that's a good rating. All right, take uh, take your blindfold off. I'm going to uh, show wait, you. Oh, wait, I have to... Uh, um, is it one of the bread shaped one? It is the bread shaped one, the toasty yays. Oh, well, mom, try it. Wait, I it know why. It tastes like French toast. It tastes really good. Oh my gosh, that cream is so Doesn't good. Doesn't it taste like cinnamon? Yeah, with icing. Yeah. It's almost like cinnamon buns. Yeah, I just had a cinnamon roll. Is it? Today? Yeah. Toasty yays are really good. I think I'm going to give this a nine. Higher than my score. Yeah, I gotta really give it an 8.5 because it's pretty good, but I don't really know why that in, in the middle. I like it. It's the Girl Scout logo. All right, pull your blindfold down. We are ready for cooking number Wait, Mom, two. Wait, Mom, I don't know what I thought in the beginning what it was because it's it smells like this one. Oh, it smelled like the adventure food. Because so we just finished cookie number one. We are going on to cookie number two. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. We are doing this one. Uh, what do I'm ready. Hold on. Do not give me the coconut. I promise I won't. And if I feel something like a nut. Are you ready? Take a bite with your teeth. Don't open. What cookie Ew. do you think it is? I think it's the mint. It is! It's Thin Mints! These are my favorite! <laughs> Alright, so what score do you give that one? Out of 10, I give it like... Um... A... 7. A sa that's actually not bad. You don't really like a lot of minty things. I yeah. love them. Thin Mints for me are classic. I'm giving it a 10. The only reason why I give it a 7 in the beginning of minty things, I just like them cold. Yeah. And I like these in the freezer, so that would work out. Yeah. Are you ready for cookie number Oh, um, there's a candy three. that tastes like this, but it's supposed to be cold. Mm. Like, no, 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 like the thin, like this. The Andes the, Mints? Yeah. Yeah, we put them in the refrigerator. So if yeah. we put these in the freezer or refrigerator, you probably like them even more. Yeah, they have like white stuff in the middle. Yep, they're called Andy's Mints. Okay. All right, cookie number three. Yeah. You ready? Uh-huh. Hold on, I have to show them quick. We're doing this one. Oh, I can't hear it. It's a bag one. Shh, 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 shh. Bite. Lemonade. Lemonade? What do you I... rate it? You got another one right. I'm not really liking it a four. A four? Yeah, I don't really like it. I definitely taste the lemon. It's actually really good. Actually, I'm changing my score. A six. A six? I give it an eight. I'm not huge into lemony things, but I know some people are, and these are really Actually, good. I'm re-rating. Okay. Nine. <laughs> she just gave the lemonades a nine, friends. A nine. So they're good, huh? Pretty good. You know what these would be good with? What? Like a tea party. And dip it in the tea. Yeah, <laughs> I think I really like these at like a tea party with her and her girlfriends. This would be a really yeah. good cookie. It's like refreshing. And you might also, It'd be great in the spring. It might be pretty good with sugar. Yeah. We have to try that next time. All right. Okay. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I gave it a nine, which is pretty much the score before the best. Yeah. Ah! I'd say nine. I'm ready. All right, cookie number four. Ah. We're doing these, friends. Hold on, let me see where it is. Tell me it's not the coconut. The coconut is not coming. All oh, right. I felt it. All right, this is this cookie. Please be short. Breath. Are you ready? Maybe. Wait. I'm going to try it too. Mmm, that is just pretty good. Very crunchy. Is this the caramel one? Which caramel one? Like the one with the lines? The brownie one? The new cookie? No, the first one we sampled. Mm. Which is the one that is like light in the middle. Yep, it's that one. It's an adventure foam. What do you think? Out of 10? Mm -hmm. 
Um, <laughs> a seven. A seven. Yeah, so these are a brand new cookie. They're called Adventure Fools. It's a brownie with caramel and chocolate drizzle. I thought I was really going to like it, but there's something about the texture that it's good. Don't get me wrong. I need be, water. I feel like it'd be great to dip in coffee. Ew, coffee. I think I'm going to give this one a 7. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. Yeah, I give it a 7 because I don't really like brownies. Mm, that is true. She doesn't like brownies. I only like a certain kind of brownie, which is the ones that you make in a cup. Yep, a hug and a mug. <laughs> Guys, we're ready for the next cookie. Let's move on to it now. All right, so we did one, two, three, four cookies so far. We have three kinds Yay. left. Are you ready? Yeah. Cookie number five. Ah! Hold on, let me show them what it is. I'm scared. You should be. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. There you go. Peanut butter. Mm-hmm. But I didn't get the peanut butter part. Take another bite. This reminds me of eating peanut butter crackers with my pappy when it I was a little tastes, girl. It tastes like straight peanut butter. It's perfect. It's like, it tastes like yummy Jif peanut butter on a cookie Out of 10, cracker. I give it a 10. Yeah. It's my favorite one so far. It's a classic. I think I'm going to have to give this one a 10. I already All know right, what this so we one like tastes like. The peanut butter sandwiches. That's what it is. So peanut butter sandwiches are a win. All right. Blindfold down. Cookie number six. I'm not. I'm still chewing. Oh. It sounds like a bag. Next cookie. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Is it the, um, the brown cookie? The brown cookie that's left? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Um, um, um. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. It's peanut butter patties. <laughs> All right, friends. You just tried the peanut butter patty. What do you think about that one? Out of 10? I don't know. It's like. I think it's good. It's okay. I think it's a 9.7. That's pretty good. I think it kind of reminds me of like a tasty cake, so but it's yeah. crispy. So I'm gonna give it an eight. It's good. Yeah, it's like it's a classic. Crunchy cake. Yeah. Kind of like fondant. <laughs> kind of like fondant. It does kind of remind me of fondant. Mass down. Last and final cookie number seven. Dun 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 dun. I thought it was almost out of my mouth. Nope. I'm not ready for that yet. Going. Cookie number seven. Mouth open. Take a bite. I want shortbread. Shortbread cookies. These are our classic. I did 10, 10.10. 10. <laughs> she so loves it. I'm trying to give it a 20, but it's one through 10. So. Mm -hmm. This is another one I probably dunk into your coffee. It's really good. Very like simple, but good with anything. Wait, Mom, is like anything point ten, but more than ten. Mm -hmm. So I gave it better than ten because these ones are my favorite. They're her favorite. All right, so I have to say, after our taste testing, if I were to buy Girl Scout cookies now instead of just buying the Thin Mints and the Shortbread, I would definitely buy the Lemonades. They are awesome. I would definitely buy the Toastiers. They are really good. Connection. The um, peanut butter cookies, yeah, the peanut pretty butter, good. Pretty good. the sandwich ones, really good. Yeah. So I'd say instead of just buying two now, there are definitely a lot more that I would buy. And I'd Wait. probably buy a couple to put in my freezer for springtime because I would love to do a tea party with Wait the lemonade. Minute. Where's the sandwich one? Right here. Oh. You ate yours. <laughs> Almost the whole thing. I thought that was the peanut butter. No, see this is the peanut butter patty. No. Peanut butter sandwich. All right, friends, we hope you go see some Girl Scouts in your area and help support them today. Kensington, it's her first year, and she's absolutely loving it. Um, we're getting ready to go to her first camping trip in the spring, which we can't wait for, and these sales are going to help us get there. Cookie of the day is which one? The cookie of the day, shortbread! All right, shortbread is the winner for her, and I think my new favorite is probably lemonade. Mom, can I finish yours? Go for it.
All right, friends, we hope you liked our video. We hope you go out and try more Girl Scout cookies when you have the chance. Um, don't just stick with your favorites. Try lots of other ones. The Cookie Monster here is loving them <laughs> and making a giant mess. Thankfully, we are in her room today and not in my kitchen or living room. So go ahead and make the messes. I hope you like our video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. As you can see, I'm currently practicing contortion to look like Sophie Dossie. Because I love Sophie Dossie and watch this. <laughs> Alright, if there are local Girl Scouts in your area, please go out and support them. Kensington is currently in the... Daisies! Yes. So, if you ask Girl Scout Troop what their name is, they might say the Daisies. Yep, make sure you go out and support them. It helps them to go on trips, um, earn badges, and do fun things with their Girl Scout Troop. Like any other sport or club it's definitely awesome to support people that are local to you in your area see you next time friends good bye like Quick. subscribe and also make sure you share this video